Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I had to come on here um, maybe quickly. <laughs> I never know anymore. Okay, there seems to be a lot going on on YouTube, and it is not from a human element, I am pretty sure. Okay. Um, okay, first of all, going through my comments, trying to reply to your comments. I keep getting told comment failed, um, notification failed, I believe is how it's worded. So I believe the censorship is really ramping up. This started yesterday. So I'm reading your comments, but they're not letting me reply. And I suggest that if you need prayer or you need a question answered seriously, a serious thing answered, please email me at Jeannie Hardesty. I'll put it in the description box. You know, it's my YouTube channel name, all one word, all lowercase, at gmail.com. Okay. Having said that, you've got to remember, and I put this up right after the incident that happened to me. I got so upset because someone I really love, care about, followed, lamb blasted me for sharing that video about November 17th. Okay. Those of you who follow my channel, you know what I'm talking about. Apparently, there was a big brouhaha that went on. That's an expression we used to use. I don't know if y'all have heard it, but it's a lot of commotion. Okay. With that person that said that, and the young man who said, I was hearing from demons. I don't prefer to give names. You don't need to know them because I know that demons are behind it all. Satan is roaring about like a lion seeking whom he can devour. People are getting off YouTube, pulling off their channels, which, okay, if you don't need to be taught, that's fine. But I don't know about you. I have nowhere else to fellowship but here, right here on YouTube. I have nowhere else to learn but the Word, and I should be still learning. I don't know that there's ever a day anybody can say, okay, I've, I've learned the whole book. I don't need to read it anymore. Because every time I read it, I learn something new. It's so cool how God wrote the Bible that way. Just like when I did that, the message from the Lord, and he led me to John chapter 1. And I got to verse 9, and I was reading it to, to you on the video about light coming in when we're, I thought it meant when we were born. And then I found the video about when we're conceived. It actually emits, when the sperm enters the egg, it emits light, which I was just like blown away because it, it was such confirmation for John 1, 9. If you haven't seen it, you've got to go back and check it out. The message from the Lord and then the, the one following it about when life begins. Gosh, I don't even remember the name, the titles, but they're recent. They're real recent. November 20, 21, 22, right in there. And I'm just saying, um, I said all that to make a point. <laughs> that, oh, okay. We're never going to be through learning the word. That was that point. But 
I don't want to ever be through fellowshipping. I don't want to ever be through getting what we can bring each other. I don't need accolades and pats on the back. I want to see people given glory and praise and honor to the Lord. I'm honored that he's even using a, an old sinful wretch like me, and I mean that humbly. I, I mean, I should have been at this point 20 years ago. It's just taken me so long. Excuse me. Um, and it's kind of pathetic. But he's, he loves me still. So if you've only known him six or eight or ten months or a year or even ten years, twenty years, thirty years. I'm going on forty-two years of knowing him. Don't think he can't use you. Don't think you have don't have more to learn. Don't think you can't get a gift now because you tried before and it didn't work. You keep asking, okay? I tell people every night before you go to bed, when you do your evening, or you can do it in the morning prayer session, whatever, ask him, to fill you full of the Holy Spirit. Maybe you're up to here. You're still not praying in tongues. And you think you don't need it. Ask him to fill you all the way up. You should be at least desiring it. If you have a block in here that says to you, you don't need that. It was for the old, it was for the apostles. It's not for us. You got a problem. First of all, when we get to heaven, we're not going to all be speaking English. I'm not even sure how that's going to work. Is it going to be telepathically? Is he going to put all the English-speaking people on one side of heaven and all the Spanish-speaking people on this side of heaven and so forth? I don't think so. I think we're going to all speak the same language. And it won't be our languages. You remember that story about when Nimrod was trying I think that's his name, trying to build a tower of Babel. And this was after the flood. Now God's done wiped away all the evil. Noah and his family had to repopulate the earth. So it wasn't that long after. Next thing you know, here's Nimrod building the tower of Babel. And forgive me if I have that name wrong, but I think that's right. The guy that thought he was so high and mighty and perfect and all that. Building his tower. Had all these people building this tower. And God said, if we let them do this, they'll think they can do anything. And what did he do? He scattered everybody and gave them different languages. So they couldn't communicate. But when we get to heaven... We're going to all be able to communicate with the same language. So why does it seem weird to anybody that he wouldn't want us to start now? You see what I'm saying? Don't think it's weird or something you don't need. I am telling you. When you start praying in the Spirit, you are going to have breakthroughs like you've never had. But from what I have been watching, I'm sure most of you have been seeing it too. Thanksgiving could be 
not a very pretty day. If not tomorrow, very soon, will we get to go home by Christmas? You know I'm hoping so. And I don't want to discourage one person by saying it. I'm telling you, we're in the season. Obama is not going to leave office. Trump is not the answer for America. God has taken his hand off of America. Judgment is coming. So do not think we're all fixed and ready for a good four years. Don't buy into that deception. Get your houses in order. Repent. Repent. Repent if you need to. Ask Jesus to fill you full of his Holy Spirit. Tell him you want to be able to pray in the Spirit. Like we're supposed to throughout the day. It's in the Word. Ephesians 6, part of the spiritual armor. And pray in the Spirit continually. Well, what does continually mean to you? Once a week? I don't think so. I think it means in the morning, in the middle of the day. In the afternoon, before you go to bed. That's what I think it means. And how can you do it if you don't have the ability? And I know this will get me some thumbs downs. Every time I speak about this, I get thumbs downs. I don't care. I do not care. I don't care if half of you unsubscribe. I'm going to tell you the truth. As the Holy Spirit puts it on my heart, that's why I'm here. I am here to keep you from being left behind. That is my goal. So either you can do what the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. And I know that in my heart because I come on here intending to say a minute's worth of something. And look. We're at 1244 and I'm still talking. Please, please pray for this. Pray about it. Oh, there goes the fire alarm. Fire alarm. It happened before during a video. Anyway, I'll end it here. I plead the blood of Jesus over every one of you over the video and the internet connection because I'm having trouble getting online. I have to pray and plead the blood and beg. I beg Jesus, please, Lord, let it reestablish. So I hope this goes up. I pray for each and every one of you. I plead the blood over you all when you watch this. Okay. And have a happy Thanksgiving. If nothing happens, it doesn't happen. We'll have a happy Thanksgiving. Okay? And you in Europe and Australia, you have a wonderful day too. All right. Bye-bye for now.